Hey everyone, Harold Fisher, WHUR News with Politics 963. I'm here with Dr. Christopher Metzler. He is a GOP analyst. He's also the author of a new book called Divided We Stand, The Search for America's Soul. Dr. Metzler, thanks for talking to us. Oh, my pleasure. Okay, talk to me a little bit about the title of this book and why you wrote it. Well, a number of things. First of all, people think that the division of America started with the election of Trump. No, absolutely not. It goes way back. If we look at the issue, for example, of the Warren court, um, when we look at Warren and the introduction of issues like affirmative action in particular, that's kind of where the division started. And so for me, my book is not really about Trump. It is about why he was elected. It's about black conservatism. And I want to be very clear about the issue of black conservatism. Because oftentimes what I'm told is, well, you black conservatives are just apologists for white nationalists. Not at all. Conservatism really started with the black church. On the issue of, for example, education, Black conservatives are to the right of white conservatives on education. But to to your point, certainly when you're talking about African Americans and conservatism or, or even the modern African American Republican, yes, it is well known that many African Americans are somewhat conservative. They may be socially conservative on issues of, of abortion, yes. for example. Mm -hmm. uh, but but the modern Republican Party has certainly changed. And, for example, Republicans were known to be fiscal conservatives. That's gone out of the window. Uh, because, for example, if you look at the deficit that was just announced today, our, our, our international, our, our foreign deficit, what happened to, considering when you're talking about Donald Trump, for example, you remember family values during uh, the, the George Bush era, and I'm mm -hmm. talking about... Herbert Walker Bush. Mm -hmm. And so th that Republican Party does not look like the Republican Party of today. So what happened? Agreed. Um, it does not. It, look, it is a very different Republican Party. Um, and so I think it's important for people to understand, though, there is a distinction between conservatives and Republican. So what are you? Well, I am a conservative. Why am I also a Republican? Here's the issue. In America, there are two parties. Republican or Democrat. I don't really subscribe to a lot of what Democrats say. My other cho so my only choice then is to align from a voting standpoint with the Republican Party. So why not be an independent? No, and independence in the context of America really makes no difference. Um, if you are an independent in America, what does that mean? Does it really mean anything? Can you affect policy change? Not really. Um, so you have to align based on our system with party A or party B. So, but but to but to that point, you can be a conservative, but not necessarily a Republican. Oh, absolutely. You can be a conservative and not necessarily a a Democrat. And so it goes back to the GOP, not conservative not liberal, not progressive. What has happened to the Republican Party? And as a black member of the GOP, do you like the the modern face of the Republican Party? Well, Are you happy? Are you happy with that? So here's the thing about the modern face of the Republican Party. But I'm asking you what you think as a black Republican. I mean, I'm not so much interested in analyzing that. I mean, from from your heart mm -hmm. as a as a voting member of of the GOP, mm -hmm. are you satisfied with the current face of the Republican Party? I am, and here's why. Okay. Because in the context, so the Washington uh, Post magazine just did a piece on Candace Owens as the so-called new face of the black conservative and Republican movement. Here's what they missed. What they essentially said is that all black conservatives and all black Republicans think alike. Absolutely not. Candace has her space. A number of people have their space relative to that. So Am I happy with where we are um, as a Republican Party from the black conservative uh, perspective? 
So here's what we have to understand. Conservatives and particularly black conservatives, because people often say to me, what are you trying to conserve? I'm trying to conserve the best of the past and improve on that for the future. The best of the past. Yes. Are you going to give me a MAGA discussion here? No, I'm not going to necessarily going okay, to give you. Okay, only have about 30 seconds. So yeah, I'll let you no, I'm not going to do that. What I am saying, though, is that, in fact, we have made some, str some strides. Bush W. appointed a number of extremely great black conservatives, such as my great friend, Dr. Rice. Okay. Well, I wish we had more time, but I want to thank you for spending some time with me, my Dr. Pleasure. Christopher Metzler. And the book is titled uh, Divided We Stand, The Search for America's Soul. Thank you so much for, much, so much for coming in. My pleasure. To thank you for right, having thank me. Thank you so much. I and that it. is Politics 963. Of course, you can find all of our information on all of our social media platforms, including Twitter, Instagram, and of course, whur.com. I'm Harold Fisher, and I'll see you on the radio.